Hello and welcome back to more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon How to Competitive. And before we get started with the topic of today, I want to just quickly add a little, uh, I guess you would call an addendum on to my previous episode where I did the quick EXP leveling. I was making a mistake, like I was forgetting that you couldn't um, fly directly to uh, the Pony Pony Meadow, or yeah, Pony Plains area where you could get the Chansey encounters. Um, you can, it'll, you can fly right here. Somebody pointed it out. I don't know why I was um, leaving that out. You can fly there. It takes you to sort of the top portion of that area and you can, um, you can walk downward. I think because the first time I did it, I hadn't been there, so I couldn't fly there. So I just forgot that you could fly there. But anyway, that's just a little end note for the previous episode. You can get to that area faster than what I was doing. But today, um, I know I mentioned I want to do the whole uh, Ultra Wormhole shiny hunting thing and explain how to get the nature that you want. The only problem with that right now is that given how luck-based it is, um, whether or not I can sit down and actually record it, I need I need a lot of time to sit down and record it. So in the meantime, I'm going to do some more short uh, short form videos that won't require so much recording time, and we're going to go over ways to make money in uh, Ultra Sun and Moon because okay, well we talked about how you want to EV train your Pokemon, and in order to EV train your Pokemon, you get a huge head start if you can buy those vitamin items, the protein, carbose, calcium, and all that. Um, the thing is, they at ten thousand Poke dollars each, they will run you uh, pretty expensive. It'll be difficult to, you know, keep keep this up. Now, obviously, you can. Um, there are ways you can keep earning money. You can always rematch the Elite Four, which is a good option. It's a little bit tedious though, if your if your team isn't, you know leveled enough or or whatever or if you just find all the dialogue tedious um but one thing to keep in mind if you do any trainer battles whether you do the battle buffet which i might cover in a different episode um or if you do the elite four rematches one thing you'll always want to do is if you have these roto prize money things is to use them before you go on take on the elite four and then when they run out you know use another one this will uh triple the amount of money you receive after battle which is cool combine that with um putting an amulet coin on your lead pokemon and that is one way to earn a lot of money uh grinding with the elite four but again that's pretty tedious you can always do that but we're going to talk about other ways that you can earn money and one thing i'm going to talk about the first thing I'm going to talk about is this one-time thing you can do when you... It, for those of you who have already defeated the Rainbow Rocket episode, you I'm sure you know this already. However, we're going to go over it anyway. If you defeat Rainbow Rocket, you get 55 Big Nuggets, which if we were to sell all of them, that is 1,100,000 Poké Dollars. That will have you set for quite a bit of time, honestly. And um, I waited for a few weeks now to, to sell these, just so I could show you guys on, on video. You get these 55 Big Nuggets and you can get this much money for them. So I'm gonna sell them now and as you can see, my money problems are over for a while. But there are actually other things we can do to earn money. Um, now all of these methods that I'm going to show from here on out are once a day methods. And when it's once a day in these games, my understanding of it is it's more like once every 24 hours, so it's not just based on the calendar day, you have to actually wait for 24 hours to elapse in between, and that goes for the heart scale farming method that I mentioned in our first episode. So the first place we're gonna go is the thing that you guys probably all remember from Sun and Moon, is we're gonna head over to Akala Island and over to this beach over here, the Hano Beach, and we're gonna do Pukumuku chucking. And for those of you who haven't done it before, um, I'm gonna walk you through it. It's it's kind of stupid simple. The only thing um, is one time when I went to do this, I I couldn't do the Pukumuku chucking right away because there was some kind of subplot with like a Romeo and Juliet subplot. And I don't know if that was a one-time thing or if it's something that'll pop up periodically, but we're gonna go over to this guy over here. And looks like we can go right into the Pukumuku chucking. Um, the, the, uh, the little Romeo and Juliet thing, it's not that big of a deal. You just gotta, like, walk up to a Pukumuku and find the right Pukumuku. It, it's just a little side thing that I, I think you just do it one time, and then you can do this Pukumuku chucking once a day. So, as far as I know, the Pukumuku are always in the same six locations every time along this beach. 
Um, either way, we're just gonna walk along the beach and talk to each Pukumuku. This is something, um, other than the little, like, Romeo and Juliet side event that can happen, this is something that really isn't any different from Sun and Moon. But I will show you, you know, just to go over how, how simple it really is. We just walk along the beach. And I think five of the six Pukumuku are, like, exactly along the shore. And then there's one more that's a bit more inland that we'll get to. Oh, he's over there, but we'll, we'll get him last because he's on our way back anyway. We just talk to these little cucumbers, and that is it. There should be one more right here. And that should have been five of them. And then the sixth one is over here on our way back. Oh, no, are there two? Yeah, there it is. There he is. And there's the last one, and there you go. Now, did I miss a sticker? Hold up, I missed a sticker. All right, we're resuming now. So then we, we're done, we talked to this guy, and if you didn't catch all of them, he'll let you know how many are left, but it's not that hard, and we get 20,000 Poké Dollars. Not too shabby, honestly. So that is, you know, the Pukumuku chucking way. That's something that we know, pretty simple. Now, there's uh, another way we can do money, earn money once a day. Um, we're gonna fly over to Peniola Town. And uh, if I did this, I don't know if we have to do anything to get this guy to appear. I actually just found this guy on Cerebi. I didn't know about this guy in advance. Okay, no, he's not here. So we might have to do something before he, uh, he comes up. But there is a man here near the Pokemon Center. And uh, he's supposed to buy an item once a day, like, and it's a common item, like a potion, antidote, lemonade, awakening, ultra ball, big malasada, heart scale, repel, energy powder, or pretty wing, and he'll buy them for 5,000 poke dollars. Now, because I literally just read that one on Cerebi as I was, like, double-checking all my locations, I'm not sure if we have to do anything to get him to appear, but obviously he's not here right now, so, um, I, uh, I can't tell you how to get him to appear. We might revisit that, or if you guys know, you can leave in the comments. But that's just a little uh, info for you guys. He'll be right here, and he'll buy an item for 5000 So that's another thing you can do once a day. Sell a common item for an easy profit. And now let's move on to the next thing, which is going to be in Po Town, actually. So we're going to go over to Ula Ula Island and make our way over to Po Town. There's going to be a guy who... Um, Actually, um, I need to- I need to battle him? Or do I have to battle him- do I have to battle him every day? This is the one thing I'm not sure about, whether I have to battle him every day or not. Because again, I've only tried this once. Um, there's a- there's a guy- Let's see if I can get to the exact spot the first time. There we go. There's a guy who, um, sells- Oh yeah, you have to battle- okay, so you have to battle him every day. I only have my pincer here. Well, and I have a type null that I'm trying to level- or a Silvalla that I'm trying to level up. So I can hyper train it. But, um, so we have to battle this guy. So, actually, this would be- if you want to do the pro strats on this, honestly, you- you can, um, set your Roto prize money before you battle this guy. And then you'll get some more but more money when you battle him. But, you know, I'm just- I was just checking here. So, you know, we have the level 100 pincer here, so we should do fine. So we're just gonna battle him real quick. He has an Elgium level 40, and I forget what his other Pokemon is, but we'll see. It's a Metang. So, two Pokemon, easily weak to dark. Got my level 100 pincer, so we're good here. Alright. See, he's called Swiper because he has both False Swipe and Thief. Okay, so you get 1,600 Poké Dollars for battling him. Again, if, if I use Amulet Coin and uh, Roto Prize money, I could get more money that way. Anyway, so now we get to buy a big nugget for 5,000. Now, if we saw before we uh, the big nugget you could sell for 20,000, so you can get a 15,000 poke dollar profit from this method. So in, in fact, let's go ahead over to a functioning Pokemon Center and we'll go ahead and sell it. And uh, that should be about it for methods. I'm trying to think if I left anything else out. I mean, again, um, I mentioned the, uh, I mentioned, um, I mentioned that you could do the Elite Four method here. Let's go to the bottom because it's a new item. So there, we just made a profit. So these are things you could do every day. 
There is one more thing you could do for a minor amount of money, and I guess, I guess I'll address it. Because it's a small amount of money, but it is something. Because at this stage in the game, you probably don't need Pokeballs anymore. So we can go ahead over to, uh, where's the closest one? Yeah, this is home. So we're gonna fly to home. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna unlock, um, there's some other special event that we can do, and I don't know if we're gonna unlock this. So I don't wanna go in and do it, just in case I trigger this. There's this other event that I don't wanna trigger by accident, because I haven't done it yet. But you can go into your mom once a day, and she'll heal your Pokemon, and she'll give you a Pokeball once a day. And this is something I discovered. You don't have to wait until post-game to do this. You can do this while doing the game. Now, during the game, you might want to take that free Pokeball. But at this stage, when you've, when you've already beaten the game, you don't really need Pokeballs anymore. You can take the Pokeball and sell it, and that's just another option for you. So now, um, I will mention one more thing, because we talked about getting all this money so we can buy things, right? So... Um, we mentioned using the Roto prize money when you go and battle the Elite Four or anybody else, and that can stack with the uh, amulet coin, I believe. So basically, you're you're multiplying the amount of money you get by six. And um, in addition, when you actually go to purchase things, now this only works at Pokemarts, but when you go to purchase things at a Pokemart, you can use the Roto bargain item, Roto pa Rotom power, and it. Basically, as you see right here, it cuts the prices of everything in half. So that's a way to have money once a day. It's not it's not a ton of money a day, but again, these are easy little methods that you can do at very little time cost to yourself once a day to get some money. And then, you know, if you're still grinding for money, you can do Elite Four battles on the rest of the day. So that's going to do it for this how-to competitive. Um, just a quick little one again. These are shorter form videos. The next one I'll probably do is I'll, I'll go take you to each location where we can buy all the TMs. These are, again, only the TMs that can be bought. And that'll probably be the next one. I'll still be working on that shiny hunting one, but that one, that one might take a little bit because again, it's luck based and I need just like a full day where I can sit down and do that recording. So that's going to do it for now. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on these videos. And that's going to do it for now. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time for more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon How-To Competitive.